I continue to enjoy this man's courage, but I don't know what gives him the courage. But for me, I think um, liking his methodology and whatever thing he's doing, I think, don't quote me wrong. Don't quote me wrong. Because when they say 25% of FCT must count, it's constitutional, it's in the law, it's in, the, it's in, it's in, in our 1999 constitution as amended. I think nobody has the right to deny him that right. When he says that judiciary must be watched, I think all eyes should be on the judiciary. Let's know what actually judiciary wants to do at this particular point in time. I think I'm particularly interested in this particular thing. Some persons are criticizing him for saying this, but I think I like what he said. Please watch and listen to him. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And that you Nigeria can also come from the judiciary. They are part of Nigeria. Nigerians are suffering. And we don't intend to stop until we start building that in Nigeria where we are sure that Nigerians will start being pulled out of poverty, out of suffering, that government will genuinely start caring for the people. It's for them to have hope in Nigeria. Yeah, what we are going through have happened in other countries of the world. And if we do the right things, we will take back the country. If we use the resources of this country in an efficient, effective manner, we will put people out of poverty. And I say it categorically, we know what to do. It is there. All we need to do is to do the right things, starting from fighting corruption. People cannot continue to be allowed to steal public money and live the way they want when everybody is suffering. People can no longer mismanage our resources. We need those who have the competence, the capacity, the character that is required and the integrity that is required for governance to come on board. We cannot be running a government that is criminalized. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.